Hi everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie. This is the T7 German light tank. The spar pans are all the spear pans are. I have a pretty good game in this without giving too much away. I'll pick up a very rare medal, or I think it's the only medal I've picked up of this kind, and you'll see that a little bit later. You can see I'm in a tier 10 game, and you might see a few familiar play names if you're into the forums, in the World of Tanks forums on the Southeast Asia server, you might see a few familiar names. You've got some DPS players and some other familiar clans. Being a tier 7 in a tier 10 game, I don't want to be overextended. I do have six cents in this tank. The last video I made on this tank, I didn't. But I'm just getting into this bush near the river to try to, near the lake, to try to spot some enemy tanks. Now, from memory, they don't come up in the in the replay. The uh, assistance to allies tags that come up as you're spotting and, and people are doing damage because of your spotting. But um, in the game, they were. I was getting all that spotting damage on that leopard, as well as the object 140 and maybe even the WZ 132. Of course. Tier 7 light tank in a tier 10 game or any any game isn't really going to be pushing too hard. Just going to start by passively spotting some tanks. You can see the bulldog on the mini map. The circle's not complete, which means he's taking a little bit of damage. And when I had this game, I was doing a mission where you had to get 7,000 spotting damage. A little bit of banter going on in the in the in-game chat, one of our top tier medium tanks um, must have gotten taken out by that Conqueror gun carrier, gun carrier, Conqueror GC, the tier 10 British artillery, which is a very, very handy artillery piece to have on your side, and also they're very good at clan wars. We use them a lot. We've got a few expert players at MI6 who who play it. So for now, I'm just keeping an eye on the mini map and staying in these bushes using my camouflage and my binoculars to try and light up a few tanks. One of my worst habits is, is rushing forward too early and I've, I've been trying to address that in my gameplay, especially when I'm in a lower tier tank. Now because that 1375 is moving, I'm quite confident he won't be able to see me, so I'll take, I'll take a couple of shots and just sit here as I reload. I know I haven't been spotted because my sixth sense hasn't gone off and I'm looking at the mini-map and I can see they're doing a big push through the valley where it looks like we're winning the town but some of... Uh, we're winning the town quite convincingly but that tortoise is about to get rushed looking at what I can see on the minimap and killed and we're down by two tanks and the only thing protecting the valley is a T95 who I think he comes into play quite soon and our American artillery is in deep trouble as they as they push forward I'm, I'm pretty sure I've been spotted here so I'll fire off a clip just to try and do a little bit of damage but all I'm doing is bouncing that Conqueror. Or missing. So I'm sitting here to reload. We lose our artillery and we're losing 4 to 6 and we're a real danger of being capped out. But those tanks that have pushed through the valley, a lot of them are on low health. So I auto aim at that E50. Get rid of him. Hide again while I reload. I know that they know that I'm there. The T95 comes into play, gets rid of the Type 4 Heavy. I'm hoping that Conqueror is aiming towards the T95 as I come out and try to get a cheeky shot off, but turns his attention to me. Damages my gun, so I, I try to fix it. Now tanks are coming back, so I don't need to rush these tanks. I'm still only a tier 7 tank, and I'm only going to be a tier 7 tank in this game. All I can do is try and take some opportunistic shots. 
very lucky there to take out that Leopard PTA, which was a pretty dangerous tank. And now we're winning 8-7, and I was also very lucky that he missed me. It looks like it came quite close. Now the T-95 is copying a bit of damage from that Conqueror. Up. I'm fairly sure the Conqueror is not going to worry about me. He's going to be more concerned with the T-95. So I'm moving into a position where I can flank him and take him out. I keep moving because two of their remaining tanks are artilleries and they could have been looking at where I am. And we're comfortably winning the game now, 12-7. It was a wasn't looking that good when the valley was pushing onto our cap. And now I'm just going to charge through the valley and try and get a little bit more damage into these artilleries. Pretty sure that Centurion will be, might be done with by the time I get here, but I'm not sure. The first victim is going to be the GW Tiger P. Auto loader really helps in situations like that. I keep moving forward because I know I've been spotted. But I'm not that worried because I've already got four kills. We're winning 13 to 7 and I doubt that the Conqueror would be turning his attention to me when he's got so many other big nasty tanks to worry about. And for the end of the game I take out the Conqueror. We end up winning by convincing 15 to 7. And somehow I pick up 5 kills. As we look at the post game battle results, first class mastery badge, which isn't too bad. My spotter, because I did over a thousand hit points of spotting damage, and one. Fighter, destroy four or five enemy vehicles in one battle. Fire off effect for doing more damage than my tank was worth. And the very Orlix medal, I don't think I've ever got one of these before. Awarded for destroying three or more enemy tanks or tank destroyers with a light tank. And they must be at least two tiers higher than the player's tank. So that would have been. These are the five tanks I've killed. E50 is tier 9. Conqueror is tier 9. Tiger P uh, wasn't two tier. I think that's just a tier 8. Leopard was a tier 9 and the Conqueror was a tier 10. That's why I ended up with 3,780 experience. That's for the double with a premium account. But we look at the scores. 1,260 experience for that. That's because over 2,000 spotting damage plus 1,826 damage. So I've got... Up there, I was up there with the with the damage. The, plenty of tanks did more damage than me, but they were all higher tier and and not light tanks. And the five kills, and not a bad. I must have fired a bit of premium ammunition, probably at the Conqueror and the the other medium tanks when they were rushing the hill, because I really didn't want to didn't didn't really want any of the, any shots to bounce. It does have a good gun, the Spic. It has a really good. Um, punchy little gun but when you're up against T9s and 10s you, you probably need to fire premium ammunition. Anyway thanks for watching the replay I've really enjoyed it the Orlix medal it's the first and only one I've got that I know of. Um, thanks for watching take care and I'll see you all next time.